Abby. No, no, you are going to China. Why is he smiling? The father. Is, is it the father behind him? You chased it for the one at the top of the city. On the sea. Oh, on the ground. We found it in the crypt. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh God, oh God, run! Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I see nothing. Disregard what I say. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Then ask again. The Crimson Ship. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs? He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. Many, everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Don't open it. Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it.
You... Who... Who are you? Oh, what did you do? What did you do to me? No, no, you did something. I can feel it. It's fixing me. You... I, I kissed your wrist. What did you do? You... I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Ah, oh, your lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Well, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking bro for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Therese... Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed astroturf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? What? Oh my, a Malkavian. This ought to be absolutely delicious. Two minds as crazy as ours, and who knows just what might happen. <laughs> oh, but you've got it bad, little girl. Not sure exactly what is real and what isn't? Janice, let's see. Isn't that a two-faced Roman god? Of course, you're right. You just happened to meet the prettier face first. <laughs> Wait until Therese hears that. I am white to her black. She'll be absolutely furious. Of course, I won't be wearing white to any weddings, but we could talk about that later. <laughs> I can tell you and I are going to get along just like fire hoses. When we get turned on, there's bound to be flames. 
I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out, and the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile, and everyone always wants to know who is that girl. I am Jeanette, and this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. What can I get you, beautiful? Janice? What the hell are you talking about? Damn, why do I always get the weird ones? Huh? Look, the only sisters around here are Therese and Jeanette, and they own the place. They're both upstairs, fighting as usual. Why do you need to see them? Wow. I have no idea what you just said. Is she expecting you? Uh, yeah, whatever. Look, I'll let you on up, but if you start getting too weird up there, I'll have to come up and escort your pretty little behind back out on the street, you hear me? Not stuck up bit. Oh, God. I can't even look at you sometimes. Jezebel. Oh, Therese. You really do paint a flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century barb. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked painted pout concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no shame. <laughs> Let she who is without sin cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Therese Borman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? Tongue and his co-conspirator's actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property.